this video we are going to look into the simple present tense the usage of simple present tense and even the form of the simple present tense simple present tense is used to express the idea that an action is repeated or usual the action can be a habit a hobby or a daily event when we check the first case the example goes like he drinks coffee every morning so this statement is used to express a habitual action and the verb here that is the that is the verb drinks it is in the simple present tense and in the second case we use simple present tense to express general truths the example goes like the sun rises in the east i like chocolate of another example uh, we can say california is in america and so on so in order to express general truths we use the simple present tense and another case goes like to describe scheduled events in the future we again use the simple present tense the example goes like the bus arrives at 4 o'clock so when we examine the verb here it is in the simple present tense form the simple present tense is quite easy to form usually we use the base form of the verb and in some case we use the base form along with yes when we examine the table it is clear that in first person singular, second person singular, first person plural, second person plural, and third person plural, we use the base form of the verb along with the subject. But in the third person singular, and it only changes in the third person singular, that is along with he, she, it, it adds yes along with the base form of the verb. It adds yes along with the base form of the verb. So this is a one, this is one thing that you should keep in mind. Now, in order to create negative sentence, we use do not along with the base form of the verb. And here, in the third person singular, the case is different. We use the does not along with the base form of the verb when the subject is in the third person singular. Now, let's examine the example. See, I do not like ice cream. As the subject I is in the first person singular, we use do not along with the base form of the verb. Now in the second case, John does not play chess in the morning. John is in the third person singular. So we use does not along with the base form of the verb. In order to ask yes or no question, the form goes like do or does plus the subject plus the base form of the verb let's look into the example do you like tea so do is added along with the subject you and the base of base form of the verb that is like is used here in order to make the sentence in the simple present tense in the case of the question word question the question words are words like why when who and so so for this in this case the word order goes like the question word comes in the beginning and it is followed by do or does and then by the subject and then by the base form of the verb. Now let's examine the example. Why does Tina answer so quickly? So why is the question word and it is followed by does as Tina is in the third person singular. Tina is the subject and it is followed by the base form of the verb that is answer. Answer is the verb here. Now these are certain things that one should keep in mind or comprehend while they learn about the simple present tense. For regular verbs, we just add yes along with the base form of the verb in order to make it in a simple present tense. And for verbs that end in yes, yeses, sh, ch, x, and o, we add es along with the base form of the verb instead of adding yes along with the base form of the verb. So see the example go and fix. We added ES instead of YES along with the base form of the verb to make it in the simple present tense. And now for the verbs ending in a consonant along with Y, we change the Y into I and then we add ES. Going to the example for word CRY, the word CRY consists of Y and before that there is a consonant sound. So we have changed the Y into an I and then we add ES in order to make that in the simple present tense.